Moks had married an African-American woman from the neighborhood of Treme, Ella Blackman. After I wrote about Moksud and Ella in my book, I was contacted by fourth and fifth generation descendants. To find out that we were Indian, it just intrigued us that we wanted to learn more. So we kept reaching out to Vivek, asking him, well, did you find out anything? This isn't something that I expected. I had only seen Moksud and Ella as names within archival documents. I had never even seen photographs of them. I can recall my grandmother telling me a story about when they were small, that her and her dad and the mother went to New York on the train. The kids and the father was all allowed to sit up in the front of the train, but my grandmother had to sit in the back. And she said, well, it wasn't that she looked black. It was the fact that they knew she was black. And I said, well, that's I, because, you know, some of the kids' um, skin complexion is darker than my grandmother's. So I thought that was really weird, but. Moxit was darker than your grandmother. Right. I know you've been waiting a while to see it. The cemeteries back then were segregated, so they should not have been in here, but they, they were buried here. A white cemetery? A white cemetery. So he was known as Indian. Yes. And she was known as black. Right. And even though he was darker skinned, he was allowed to, do... to move more freely, to do yes. more. Where she wasn't. Yes. Breaking the color line in death. 